City of Troy in the Magna Blue Silks. Congo River just restless in the gates towards this uh, stand side. The American gates and they jump away to work over the mile. And the early pace comes from the inside. Congo River goes on from democracy. City of Troy's taken a sit back in third place on the rail. Edwardian pushes forward towards the outside in the purple silks. And master of the hunt just in front of City of Troy as they work down the back stretch at Southall. And City of Troy's last of the five as they head towards the turn out of the back stretch. The early pace, the early pace coming from Congo River. Congo River has the lead by about uh, two lengths. Pushed along in second, Edwardian. On the outside is Democracy. Master of the Hunter behind those and toying with them at the minute to the back of the field is City of Troy. As you would expect, he's got uh, a good couple of uh, stone in hand of this rivals. Edwardian drops away up oh, the final turn. Congo River with the lead. Democracy, City of Troy breezes up in between horses. Master of the Hunt on his outside, down towards the home stretch at Southall. And Democracy with the lead, but here comes down towards the two-pole City of Troy. Arriving there, full of running. Nearly four in a line as they come down towards the final furlong, but City of Troy easing into the lead. As you would expect, is well clear on the official figures and into the closing stages. Ryan Moore just asking City of Troy to quicken. And the Derby winner goes away towards the line. Quickens nicely in the closing stages. And City of Troy has its workout for the uh, Breeders' Cup Classic. Uh, cheered home, Jason, there by the crowd as well. Yeah, as he was um, starting to draw away and get up into top gear, Martin, the nice little ripple from the from the crowd. Now, watching him pull up as well, Ryan was keen to keep on going through the line, and uh, he uh, is letting him just gallop out smoothly. Obviously dropping back down to the mile as well. A couple of speed horses in there. And with the track prepared on the slower side today, be fascinated to see how much um, kickback uh, there was. We know it's not a comparison to the dirt, but it was certainly deeper than it, it normally is. And added to that, you'll, you'll see, we'll keep a close eye as well, Martin, that how much... To Peter, they have up on the fetlock will tell us as to how deeply prepared the the track was. But the process, or the hot review, if you wanted one, was um, cantered throughout, eased to the front, and quickened away smartly. It was um, pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty faultless from City of Troy. That's a, a good point picked up by Jason. He was strong through the line and has ended up over on the, uh, the far side of the course again. A bit like in the derby. He quickened to take the lead and he almost quickened again in the closing stages, City of Troy. And it's amazing to watch the level of interest of people around in the background with their camera phones out. Getting a glimpse of this horse. Giants Causeway and Galileo were the two horses Aidan O'Brien brought across to Southall. That was, of course, on the fibre sand surface but it's repeated the exercise here it was almost a, a military operation to bring these five over the city of troy extends away and quickens nicely in that gallop ahead of the breeders cup classic live here on sky sports racing first saturday of november around six weeks away and been applauded back into the Enclosures here. Some of the public uh, seemingly appreciative of seeing a bit of a star here at Southall this Friday afternoon. And we'll get uh, some feedback from uh, Aidan O'Brien and the team as well very shortly. But uh, City of Troy gallops out at Southall, bidding to become the first Ballad Oil winner of the Breeders' Cup Classic under. Adrian O'Brien's tutelage. Well, let's go back to, to Jason. The horse is coming back towards you there, Jason. How do you think he's, uh, he's come through that? How's he looking? 
Yeah, well, marks out of 10, Martin. It was, um, it was extremely comfortable, wasn't it? And um, the, the crowd really enjoyed it. Just looking again, as I mentioned, about not too much kick back up through his chest as he comes back towards us. They didn't hang around, that is for sure. They went a proper gallop early on down the back and um, for one of the lead horses to be completely cooked as they were going around that top turn, he was just the, the rabbit for the, uh, for the others to aim at. And there he is.